So when you're illustrating in Adobe Photoshop, one of the most difficult things to do is to draw a straight line. No matter whether you're using a graphics tablet, mouse or trackpad, it's always going to be a difficult thing to do. So in this video, what we're going to do is break down the two shortcuts that allow you to do this much more easily. Great, so I have Adobe Photoshop open and what I've done is already gone ahead and selected the brush tool. But this is actually going to work for any tool that uses a brush in Photoshop. So that also includes the eraser tool, clone stamp tool, etc. If you're not sure where you can find the brush tool, it's on the left hand toolbar here. And as you can see, the shortcut to it is the letter B on your keyboard. And that's both for Windows and Mac. So once you have any of those tools selected, what we can do is draw a straight line. And by the way, if you're interested in how I'm creating this gradient while drawing using the brush tool, then make sure you stick to the end of the video. I'll explain how that works. But for now, I'm just going to get rid of that. So let's draw a straight line. So there's two ways you can draw a straight line and both of them use the same shortcut key, but you use them in a slightly different fashion. So the first shortcut requires the shift key on our keyboard. So just making sure we have the shift key held in, what we can do is hold and drag a line using our cursor. And as you can see, the line is going to be straight no matter where you move your cursor on the screen. And just by releasing the cursor, once you're happy with the length of your straight line, you've now got a perfectly straight line. Now, as you can see, this has created a straight line in the horizontal axis, and we can also do this for the vertical axis. So if I go back to the start, hold shift in first, and that's very important, then hold and drag my cursor downwards. And as you can see, we now draw a straight vertical line. So this shortcut essentially allows us to draw horizontal and vertical straight lines. And this is also one of the downsides of this shortcut in the fact that we can't draw a straight line in any other direction, which the second shortcut will actually solve. So jumping onto that second shortcut, what we need to do in this case is first create a dot anywhere on screen. Then what you can do next is you can hold down shift. So the same key that we had for the previous shortcut, but instead of holding and dragging our cursor, like in the previous shortcut, this time, all we have to do is press once anywhere on our screen. And what Photoshop will do is connect up the two dots. And it's always going to do this from the last place that you clicked. So the last place I clicked is in that bottom right hand corner here. So if I hold down shift once again and press slightly further up here, as you can see, it's now going to connect those two points. And I can really easily just create simple shapes using that technique. So as you can see, this overcomes that issue where we were only limited to the horizontal and vertical axes. But once again, using this technique, it's very hard to get a precise horizontal or vertical line, in which case you'd obviously want to use that first shortcut that we learned. Then one other thing to highlight is it doesn't matter what your brush looks like in order for this to work. So for example, if I increase the size of my brush and actually decrease the hardness of my brush, it's also going to work in this configuration. And that's the same for both shortcuts. So if I hold down shift first and hold and drag, as you can see, it's also going to work for that. Great, so that was essentially how we can actually draw straight lines in Adobe Photoshop. But how am I creating this gradient using the brush tool? Well, actually the brush tool has nothing to do with this gradient. And essentially what I've done is I've created a layer with a gradient. So just a normal layer using the new layer function. And I've created a gradient using the gradient tool in Photoshop. Then what I've done next is I've created a mask on that layer. So as you can see in this corner under the layers panel here, I have a mask which I've currently unactivated, but now it's reactivated. So as you can see, the mask is now in effect. And I'm actually using the brush tool to draw on the mask, which is creating this gradient look on my brush. So I hope that tutorial helped you to learn more about the brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. If you're also interested in learning other Adobe software, such as Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro, what I've actually done is set up a new channel called My Film Class, which is purely dedicated to video animation and video editing. So if you want to check out that channel too, feel free to watch the first video on the channel in the end screen.